Oh, let's go. Yes. <laughs> G'day and welcome to Fishing, it's Michael Guest here to have a bit of a chat about getting your retrieves right. So you've been to the tackle store, you've bought yourself a heap of product and, uh, and you've got the jig heads, you've got, you've got the gear to go and catch your first fish on a soft plastic lure. So let's get one rigged up and then we'll have a look at some of the different retrieves that work in different situations. So I'll just pop this back in my pocket for a minute. Beautiful day today, water's nice and clean. So here we go, so this is a this is a five inch paddle shad. I've got the right jig head for it. I know we've been through this a thousand times. Make sure we get it rigged nice and straight. So slide that up through there, out the center of the back. Bob's your uncle, happy days. Now that's gonna swim. Have a quick look in the water as we always do. That is dynamite. Look at that thing go. Beautiful body roll. So we're halfway there, we know it swims. So, so we're right to go there. So let's fire a big cast out. Um, tide's coming this way at the moment, so we want to cast up current and hop that lure. So we'll just fire that straight out into the depths. Bang! First off, don't, don't leave slack braid blowing around in the wind. The quicker you pop your bail arm over, the less time you've got. I've got a fair bit of breeze here at the moment. If, I, if I'm slow clicking my, my bail arm over, the wind will catch that loose line, so your lure will hit the surface. Suddenly you get this big belly of line and you've got all loose line that'll land down in there and you've got to try and pull that back plus you end up with a big belly inside the water. When I say belly, it's a bend in the line. So our lure is there, we're here, we don't want, we want connection so when we get the bite we can set the hook. So we'll bring that back in. So that's the first thing. As soon as you cast it out, get that bail arm over because a lot of predatory fish, uh, especially fish like snapper, 100%, big snapper will eat your lure as it sinks down. Uh, Muller away are another one, but what they can also do is if you don't set the hook when you get the bite, and, and Barra are a, a classic for it, setting that hook, they'll spit it out. The only way you know you're going to get a bite is if you're in contact with your lure as it sinks. So once again, fire it out, big cast, bail arm over, and then I'm pointing straight at that lure. So as it sinks, I don't want to drag the lure away from its sinking process, I want it to swim down, but I'm following it. I'm feeling it, it's getting into the zone, and the first retrieve I'm gonna use here is a double hop. So I'm gonna go twitch, twitch, and then I'm gonna let that lure swim back down. And these paddle shads swim down so well when they're on that correct jig head. Twitch, twitch, so that lure's rocketing up twice like that, and then it's swimming back down, and I'm, in, I'm back in with it, twitch, twitch, and follow it back down. So that's what we call a double hop, double twitch, double hop, whatever you wanna call it. So that's one, a style of retrieve that you can use. Another one is what we call a slow lift. So once again, fire a big cast out, get that bail arm over, wind that braid on, okay, we're in connection, we're, we're connected to that lure, it can telegraph a bite back to me. So this time I'm letting it swim down, so that lure's swimming down the water column, and then I'm gonna give it a big, long lift. So what I'm doing, and then I'm chasing that line back onto the reel. So I'm lifting that lure up, and then I'm just following it back down. If I feel a little tick on the line, or half a strike, bang, I'll set the hook. And as I said, um, snapper are a classic for it, for, for eating it on the sink, but as once again, they can spit it out really, really quickly. So that's what we call our slow lift. So we'll do one more of those, big long cast, back out that way, hit the deck, get that line on, that line, and it's a really good color, this X9 braid, that, that, um, that nice yellow color, it's, it's easy to see and I'm just waiting for that bite as it sinks. Be pretty cool if I've got one right now. <laughs> so I'll bring that in. So probably our third one, and, and certainly with curly tail um, soft plastics, with um, paddle tails, is a slow roll. Our jerk shad style, slender plastics, are more that sort of really twitching action to make them look like a bait fish. But these big paddle tails, like this one here, the old paddle shad, it's got a fantastic rolling action. So unreal for mulloway, Barra, big flatties across the flats. So once again, big long cast out, bail arm over, it's sinking down through the water column, and then we're gonna do what we call a slow roll. So how far should we wind it? Well, A, you've gotta make the lure come to life. If I wind it too slowly, it's not fast enough to get that body roll and that paddle tail going. If I wind it too quickly, it's maybe going too fast for some predators to really get a good look at it, or, It'll, it'll blow the action out. So 
once again, put it in front of you and have a look. So if we have a look here, if I drag that, it's got a little bit of weed on it there, we'll shake that off. If I put it in that clear water, look at that action. You can see that what we call that body roll going and that paddle tail going, that's just magnificent. You pop that out of a weed bed for a barra, uh, he's gonna smack it. If it's swimming down into a school of snapper, they're gonna eat it. If there's a big lizard laying on the sand flats and that's puffing the sand and rolling away like that, there's a good chance of getting a bite as well. So don't forget, make sure you rig that lure nice and straight. Make sure you pair up the right size jig head to suit the style of your fishing that you're doing. Try those different retrieves. When you work out the one that works, you'll know because you'll get a pretty cool bite that way. Speaking of which, I'm going for a walk and get a couple of casts in. See you next time.